Cheers guys. Hey guys and welcome back to Leeds United Road to the Premier League Season 2 Part 4. In this game we've got the next round of the Capital One Cup which is at home again so I'll be playing that game and it's against Preston North End. Jason Pearce requesting to play and I feel he should play. The only reason he isn't in the team is because I forgot to put him in because he was suspended from last time that bullshit penalty. As you'll know from the last episode. Anyway, I've taken Kisnaba out of there and made a few other changes. Because it's a cup game, I should really give other people a chance. But, you know what? I really want to win this game, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to field my strongest team, and hopefully I'm going to hammer them. I mean, I've got, like, Rodolf Austin, who is my best overall player, 74. Uh got Jason Pierce who's catching him up at 73, uh, Butman's gone up one already, he's at 70, and uh, Naki Wells has gone up four since I bought him, he's now at 68, he was originally at 64 when I bought him. Anyway, on to the game against uh, Preston North End, uh, which I expected to be comfortable, uh, you know, get an early goal and hopefully dominate the game, and uh it will go from there. Anyway, I had a really early chance here. How is that not a penalty? I'm sorry, but how is that not a penalty? It's freaking ridiculous. Uh, Preston came forward. Some poor defending there. I don't know what Tate's doing. And they've scored. They've bloody scored in the 10th minute. Oh dear, there could be a shock on the cards. Uh, they don't deserve that at all. Uh, going pretty close there Austin but the keeper manages to get there just before him uh, McCall Smith here has a header straight at the keeper who does well to save this keeper is unreal uh, Stuckman I think he's called he's ridiculously good uh, Wells there showing his pace and smashes it straight at the keeper McCall Smith in the wrong place at the wrong time maybe a claim for a penalty there as well uh, McCall Smith again turns his man. Is that another penalty? I think it is. Uh, great ball there to Naki Wells, but the play is held up because Pelt, uh, sorry, Austin is on the floor injured again. So I've had to bring on my youth player. Anyway, that was half time, losing 1 0 to Preston. Uh, I'm going to go all out attack in the second half, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, McCall Smith there, turning his man, has a shot, but Preston defend for their lives. Very annoying. Uh, they made a change and brought uh, King off just before I had my corner, which I was hoping that would go in. It was a great effort, bicycle kick, but not to be. And one of their players is on the floor, which I found quite funny. How has the keeper saved that? I have no idea how he saved that. That's ridiculous. But yeah, still 1-0 to Preston. And at this point, I'm starting to panic. Uh, really poor black lost pass there. And uh, Norris on the ball. Norris usually scores a screamer every now and then, but he launches it straight at my own player. Uh, I brought Luke Varney on. Desperate times, I'm telling you now. Uh, for George Boyd, and I bought McCormack on for McCall Smith. Byram does well to rob them of the ball there, but loses it straight away. However, I get it back through Varney, who passes it to Thomas, who passes it to Wells, who smashes it, and oh my god! Oh, it's just not going to happen. It's just not my day at all. I have one last chance here, and he scuffed it. Ah. Uh, I really thought, you know, this is not going to be my day. I had one last chance. This was definitely my last chance. Uh, Wells there, uh, losing the ball. Preston clear, and that was it. I lost 1-0 in the Capital One Cup second round to Preston. And it's all because of their goalkeeper. He was insanely good in this game. I've never seen anything like it, and I was absolutely distraught and gutted after this game 
But yeah, uh, out of the Capital One Cup, I suppose it means I can focus on the league a little bit more and it's uh, less likely players are getting injured and whatnot. I mean, Mikel Smith was our best player, which tells you a lot. Our team was pretty poor. Uh, look at their keepers overall rating. 9.9, .9. I think that says it all. I mean, ridiculous how good he was. He stopped everything I threw at him. And in the end, credit to Preston, they're through to the next round, and I am out. Here's a nice little surprise for you. Burton Albion won, Manchester United nil. So they're out as well. That's kind of cheered me up a little bit. Um, you've got Gillingham who beat Stevenage, Crystal Palace who beat Coventry, Colchester drew with Chelsea, that's a good result for Colchester. Cardiff beat MK Dons 4-0. Uh, we've got a player injured, it's obviously Rudy Austin. Uh, I think it's uh, only a bruised shoulder, it is indeed. Only out for nine days, so he should be back very soon. Anyway, we lost that game, and there's not much I can do about it now. We're out of the Capital One Cup, it's a uh, distraction more than anything, so I'm kind of pleased. Uh, Craig Sutherland saying, I was expecting a bigger role at the club, it was offered to me when I signed for you. And he's disappointed. And yeah, I'm disappointed too, Jason. Really disappointed. And we're playing top of the league now, away. So I'm going to sim this game. And really, I would have been chuffed with a draw. Decided not to do my traditional skip straight to the result. Decided to let it go through a bit. And uh, as soon as Tate got a yellow card there, I thought, Oh no, please don't get sent off. And 2-0 uh, down, and Tate got sent off. Bloody brilliant. They really need to sort that in these simmed games. People get sent off way too much. Ah, oh, 2-1 now, 3-1, and that's pretty much it. It's all over. We've lost this game, 3-1. So I made a few more changes due to the fact that Robinson was injured again, and uh, Alan Tate is suspended, obviously, because he got sent off in the last game. I'm uh, finding myself having to change my squad every match now, but it's kind of good because I have a big enough squad to do it now. Although people are getting upset they're not playing. I'm rotating George Boyd and Robinson round quite a bit. Anyway, on to the next game, which uh, was against Derby County at home. And uh, I was still quite seething about the loss to Preston, so... I decided to attack them. I'm not sure what Jason Pierce is doing there or there, but credit to Salmon, what a goal that is. What a finish. And I wasn't even slightly annoyed about that. It annoys me when I concede stupid goals, like from corners, but yeah, maybe Jason Pierce should have tackled him there and there, but he's still got a lot to do and he's finished it beautifully so I can't really complain it could have got a lot worse but Jack Butland being off his line quick there and uh, Austin causing them all sorts of problems Wells latches onto the loose ball cuts on the inside and smashes it into the top corner what a goal what a goal he seems to be the one who gets me out of jail quite a lot does uh, Naki Wells so 1-1 one, one in the 25th minute uh, Jerome Thomas there going really close. Good save by the keeper. Was hoping to rob it, but I didn't. And, oh, well, what a header. This came from absolutely nowhere. What a cross and what a header. That's two really good goals that I've conceded, and I'm not at all bothered by the fact they have been decent. Uh, Mikel Smith here should have been through on goal. Decides to try and pass it to Wells, and the pass was a stray. Uh, good pass there nearly to um, Austin, uh, to Thomas who passes it back to Austin and once again plays interrupted by someone who's on the floor and it's I think Peltier this time. Uh, Rodolf Austin getting a yellow card for that tackle, fair enough and indeed it is Peltier. Uh, another thing I need to sort there's way too many uh, shoulder injuries, like he's dislocated his shoulder, which isn't pretty, believe me, I know I've done it myself. Um, 
so he's going to have to go off now and luckily I've got cover in Lees who I dropped for this game because I think he's been quite poor. And that was that, half time, losing 2-1 to Derby County. Uh, this game's definitely there for the taking, I decided to make a few changes. I subbed Austin, I was going to sub Austin off for the fact he was on the yellow card but I thought if I'm careful I'll be fine. I sub George Boyd off for the simple fact he's been quite poor and I think he's still a bit injured. I sub Beckford off for McCormack and that was that. As you see the changes. And I decided to really go for it this half. McCormack going really close there and oh how's he missed that? Oh it's easier to score. Oh that's a shocking miss. Oh dear me. Uh, McCormack on the ball there to Wells who once again has a shot but it's just over the bar. Uh, Salmon once again causing me all sorts of problems. I did not want to let him shoot because I know what he can do and luckily that is just wide. I think my defence did enough. Uh, McCormack on the ball again. He cuts in on the inside. Has a shot. Oh, Keeper saves well, fielding saves really well there, could have gone through his legs, but Derby give it away stupidly to Wells, who passes it to Austin, and McCormack has a shot and it's in. 2-2 two -two in the 70, uh, second minute, it's nothing less than I deserve, I've been all over Derby this half. I'll smash that in. 2-2 two -two in the 72nd minute, I'm going for the winner. And I got it. In the 76th minute, Robinson there putting away beautifully. Uh, two quick fire goals in four minutes. Absolutely delighted with that. And three very needed points if I can hang on. And uh, I could have killed the game off later on with this effort. Um, I just lost the ball at the vital moment. And this worried me a little bit. Uh, Salmon threw on goal but Austin brilliant tackle there uh, McCormack puts it through to Robinson who manages to keep it on and crosses it into Lees who falls over and doesn't even get anything on it and Lees has a shot which is absolutely miles over at this point I didn't mind as long as it was in my half I mean, McCormack really unlucky not to score there another fine save by Fielding uh, McCormack crosses it in from the corner and well how's he saved that I couldn't believe he saved that but I didn't mind as long as it was in my half uh, should have been secured the win and I was a 1-3-2 against Derby County really good result if we keep winning these games we should be up there at the end of the season and Hopefully avoid the heartache of uh, not getting even into the playoffs on bloody goal difference like last season. Uh, Naki Wells getting man of the match with an 8.7 overall rating. So it's all good. Uh, a few other results. Hull City lost to Middlesbrough. Crystal Palace beat Charlton. Cardiff hammered Brighton. Bristol City drew with Reading. Blackpool beat Coventry. Ipswich Town lost against West Ham, Leicester drew with Huddersfield, Millwall lost against Burnley, Nocton Forest beat Knox County, Wigan thrashed Sheffield United. Uh, suspension over for Alan Tate, he's available for selection again so that's good. And uh, Lee Peltier has suffered a dislocated shoulder. He's not part of my first team plans anyway so it doesn't really matter. As you can see in the league table, we are 12th, so we will plough on from here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers, guys.